I just came across a fully emotional, fully open source model, and I thought I'd share it with you guys real quick. All right, and so this is the sentence we're generating with, and I recommend that you turn down your volume so that your ears don't get destroyed. I'll do the sad stuff first, and then I'll go to anger. So here's the reference sample. Dogs are sitting by the door. And then we've got the sad expression of this sentence. God damn, you're so freaking annoying. Just stop bothering me already. I don't want to look at you. I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear you. Just get the hell out of here, she said with disgust. So we got that with uh, the female voice, and we'll go ahead and listen to now the angry one. Um, I recommend that you turn down your audio for this one. Here is the reference audio. Kids are talking by the door! All right, and then we'll take a listen to uh, this uh, angry sample right here. God damn, you're so freaking annoying! Just stop bothering me already! I don't want to look at you! I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear you. Just get the hell out of here. She said with disgust. All right. And so that's pretty good. And um, I've got one more sample for just some regular speech. And this is zero shot voice cloning for Melina from Elden Ring. So um, I'm going to generate this sentence right here, and we'll just do this one live. So using the E2 TTS base Euler, and then we'll take a listen to uh, how this one is. So here is first how the Melina sample sounds. Father till the foot of the earth tree and the accord. So there's that. And then here is how it sounds. He didn't say any more, but we've always been unusually communicative in a reserved way. And I understood that he meant a great deal more than that. In consequence, I'm inclined to reserve all judgments, a habit that has opened up many curious natures to me and also made me the victim of not a few veteran bores. All right, so that was just generated. This is completely zero shot. So no fine tuning has gone into this, which I find really crazy because it matches Melina almost spot on. And then it's really good with anger and seems to be really good with sadness as well. And so I'm using the E2 TTS base that they uh, released, but there's also another one that they released, which is this F5 TTS base. This is actually the name of the paper and this is the model that um, they improved upon and made. Um, I've personally found that ET, E2 TTS is uh, producing the best sounding audio out, but um, here we are inside of the um, GitHub repository. If you want to take a listen and or take a look at the details on the paper, um, this is the paper they have here and you can view in PDF form and read through this if you're interested in how the architecture works. Let me just make this screen a little bigger. So if you're interested in how the architecture works, you can uh, read through this paper. But basically, I think the way it's working is it takes a reference audio and it tries to complete the rest of the sentence as it's trained on um, this kind of text infilling objective. So it's pretty easy to get up and going. I'm not going to show you entirely on how to get this installed. I think this project is worthy enough for me to make a web UI for. So I think I'll be working on a web UI of this, but I'm already a little busy with the audiobook maker. However, this model came and popped up and has um, pushed itself up in the priority list a little bit. So I might find a way to incorporate this into the audiobook maker as that would be really fantastic to be able to um, have emotional speech incorporated into the audiobooks. So very excited for this. Um, very thankful that this team that um, created this research and they open sourced and released their models as well as the code so that we can improve upon it and so that we can get better sounding audiobooks. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited for that. So we'll see how that goes. But at the current moment, it's only available in uh, Chinese and English. It only works with those two languages. However, they do say that you can train it on other languages. You just need a lot of audio data for it. So that is, um, I could see that being maybe a limiting factor, but there's plenty of audio data out there, especially if, you, if you're doing um, not only, uh, especially if you're just 
downloading things off of YouTube and training off of um, and not necessarily needing it for commercial use. If it's for personal, you can probably just download a bunch of YouTube videos and train off of that uh, to make a, let's say, like a Spanish model or like a Japanese model. And Japanese is what I'm particularly interested in. So I'll see how that ends up going. But yeah, this came up and I just wanted to share with you guys real quick um, and just demonstrate on the quality that it's able to come out with. I definitely have plans on making this a little bit more accessible for people to use and making it easy to use with like a web UI, stuff like that. But uh, we'll see, we'll see as time allows. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Once again, I'd like to thank all the members of the channel for supporting me. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.